Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple timer that you're probably going to use a couple of times in game development. I'll show you how to make the timer that counts down to zero, and then I'll show you how to make the timer appear on screen for the player to see. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, you probably need to open up an actual project. For you, you'll probably have a game already up and running, but if you're doing this as a learning exercise, you can just open up a brand new project, and that's what I did here. So now that you have a project up and running, we're gonna make a brand new text UI element. Now I'm just gonna make this a little bit more visible and position it in the middle of the screen. I'm also going to make it say timer, but that's really up to you since it automatically updates when you start the game. But if we actually play the game, obviously nothing happens because we don't actually have any scripts running. So now make a brand new script and call it timer. And the spelling does matter since it has to be the same as in the script. Now just open that script and copy and paste this text directly into the script. Don't worry, this text should be in the description or there should be a link where you can just copy and paste. I won't go too in depth on how this works since it's really simple, but basically current time is the time that actually displays on the screen and it automatically gets overwritten by the starting time, which is the time the timer will start from. And so in the update function, it just adds one to the timer every second. And here it displays the time on the screen. Then here it says if current time is or is under zero, it sets to zero and does whatever you want it to do here. And this is where you should put in your own code. So if you want the game to close when the timer hits zero, you would do that code right there. Then we're going to go back into Unity, assign the script to any object of your choosing. Just make sure it's active on the scene. I'm just going to use the event system since it's basically supposed to be used as this. Then on that object, drag the text UI element that you just created into this box and choose your starting time. And that's about it, your timer should be up and running. And here's just a couple extra things that might help you. If you want your timer to stop on a negative number, you can change the zero here to something in the negatives. Just make sure you change it down here too. Also, if you want the screen to show the decibel numbers too, you can switch to zero to a one and that should work. Anyway, that's it for today. If you liked the video and found it helpful, the best way to support me is definitely to subscribe. And check out my other videos since I have a ton of other tutorials planned to help you on your journey on becoming a game developer. Let me know if this video actually helped you or if you had any troubles, since I can gladly help in the comments. And that's about it. I'm a child. <laughs>